it's playtime! I am so curious how these lovely pigment works with my seam binding painting. My, you know, you do know that I love coloring my seam binding in the color that I like, and you get that nice vintage color. I love that so much. So I'm just gonna try it out. So we do have purple and we do have pink purple now i am going to have another project with this one so i actually want the pink purple i think so i'm gonna start with the pink purple and i always can add the purple one so let me try it out so i use a glaze white bottle so i see right away what color i need so i'm gonna test it out oh you got right away some powder on it so i'm just gonna check it out i'm only emptying the So cool. I'm gonna use my other bottle. I do have some water right here. And I'm gonna use some spray to see which color. Ooh, this is really a pink purple. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. And I only use just a little powder. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna put this away with the lid off look at this and i know the much water you add the much lighter your seam binding is going to get but i can imagine wow i do love this color let's check it out i'm gonna grab this sheet to see which color i like the best Actually, I do like it already. What do you say? Shall we try this one? Ah, let's let's just try it out. All right, so I have two meters of seam binding right here. I'm gonna make that wet, so it will add perfect. I think even I have already pretty much. So let's see. Ooh, oh, goody, goody, goody. Start. Let's just start. Oh, I love this color. And shall this be right away the perfect color for me that I need? Oh my goodness. So I don't have to mix. That would be awesome. All right. Squeeze it all in. I'm sorry, then just make everything loose. And let's go back in again. And I know when I am going to dry this, and it's going to be lighter, of course. So I am gonna try this out. I'm gonna let this dry, but I also wanna know what color purple that other one is. So I'm gonna leave this for just a sec. I'm gonna clean up this bottle. And then I'm going to try out the other one. Then I'm going to dry so I know exactly which color I like for my next project. So cool. I love this to do. Okay, so I just cleaned this up with some tissue. Clean it up. Now I'm going to see how the other purple is looking like. So this was the pink purple from Kealis, the pigment colors. This one, the pink purple. Okay, and I'm gonna use the purple one. If you wanna look it up on our website, it's called CLPC11. That's this one. And this is the CLPC10, number 10. So cool. But I'm gonna find out, find out how this one. Ah, yep, baby, yes. 
Alright, just a little. You don't need much, just a little. Let's check it out. And there was quite a bit in the bottle. So, <gasps> oh, look at that. Amazing. So cool. Now let me mix this all up. This is awesome. Okay, this is turning out a bit blue in my opinion. Not quite as purple as this one, but this is pink purple. But we're gonna check. We are going to check it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab another two meters of my seam binding. I think this one is pretty much blue. And I think I did not do too much in it. Well, let's just see. Squeeze it all out. Yeah, I think I do need a little bit more. Just a little bit. Very tight. That's good. Okay, just a little bit more. No! Did it? No, oh, that's just a purple. Oh, I almost think that I grabbed the wrong one. But I didn't. I didn't. See, here is the same color. <laughs> that's the magic of these pigments. These are so, so pigmented, if this, that is the correct word, I have no clue. But you think you have the wrong color, but at the end you have the correct color. Oh my goodness, I love this one too. Now I actually want to try them all out. I do. <laughs> that's me. I always like to try out. I'm just gonna grab in all the ink that's left in there, squeeze it in, and now I'm gonna clean up in here. If you want to do more, of course, then you just can leave it. But I like to clean it up while it's still wet. Okay, put that away. So now I'm going to dry these and see how they look dry. Alright. Okay, so these are pretty much dry. I blow, blow them with my... Love it. But I don't think that this is purple. But how about mix these two? This is definitely the color that I was looking for for this one. Look at that. Looks amazing. This is for me not purple, it's blue. But now I really want to know how the rest of the colors looks like. Such amazing. So I'm going to play more. If you like to join me, then join me. <laughs> you know I like to play. What if, what if I mix these two? So what if I put the pink pink purple and the purple what if I mix these two alright let's mix these Then you get a totally different color. See that? This is a nice color of purple. Oh wow. Definitely like this color too. Alright, I'm gonna make just a little more. A little bit of this. Very good lids on here. And I think it's needed with this pigment. You don't want to just a little bit more. Why I'm not putting this just in here? 
Let's see. Let's mix them all up. Cool. Now on the side, you will see that there are some pigments. And I don't want anything to miss. So I'm just going to use that with my fingers. I have gloves on, so that is good. Just picking up all the little dust powder. Yes. Okay. Let's grab another... Another... And I'm not going to make this wet. I think we have plenty of wet in here. See, I think a little bit too much water, but it's fine. And it's going to be light. Oh my, this is going to be a nice lilac. It is. Oh wow. Love the mix of these two. <gasps> Goodness. That's awesome. That is amazing. Yes, yeah. oh, now I can't choose which color I want to use on that next project. What do you say? All right. So, oh, you can imagine which color this is going to be when it's dry. It's going to be an absolutely stunning lilac. Yes, just picking up all the pieces on my gloves. Why not? Use it all. Clean up your gloves. Could make another one with this one. Don't want to waste anything, so why not? Just picking another one. Dumping it in. Use it all, girls. You don't want to waste anything. Dipping up everything. See, even the last little bits you can use. Oh my goodness, can you imagine how many times you can use this? Oh wow, this is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna dip in this other one. I'm gonna squeeze in every single last drop. In between these two. Oh yes, I love it. Love, 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 love. I'm gonna dry this. Definitely want to see more colors. So you can dry this with a heating tool or leave this one night on on your floor or desk or anything. But Wow, so this was a mix, so this is the right away, the pink purple, this was the right away purple, and if you mix these two, then you get these colors, and so you can mix any color you like, it's just playtime and searching for the right color, but gosh, these colors are amazing, oh, so happy with these. And now I use these for the seam binding, but you can imagine that you can do so many things. I will put a link below for um, the designer from Crealis uh, herself. She used all kind of methods to use these pigments. And you can do so much with these pigments. Do you see how viable they are? How quickly you don't you you don't have to use that much, but gosh, look at this. <gasps> love it! Love it, love it, love it, love it. And if you want to do it with a project, just grab a piece of paper with it and just see which color you want to use. I'm still not sure. I do like this one. This is a more purple, and I want to let this dry a bit more. But this one, I think I'm gonna use that one. Not sure yet, but I love it. If you want to make it a little darker, then you only have to do a little tiny little zip of a little black or dark brown. Then you get another color. And so you can go on and on and on and on and on. Yes, you can. But I definitely want to know all the colors now. I do. I do like to play a little bit more. So, do you like to see more? Then stay tuned. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see. Let's go in this purple one. Uh, not purple, pink one. Pink. I think it's even better. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Love it. If you don't want it, if you don't know how much water you need, just it's just a few play times. I think this is enough for one. Just mix it. Make sure that every little drop is used. Use your finger around. If you have, if you want to work with some of the bottles. I do love this bottle. I do because it's nice white and glass, so it's easy to clean. And you see right away which, which, which color it's going to be. All right, dipping in. Dipping it all in. If you want to add a little bit more water, then just do. Squeeze it in. Make it loose. Oh my goodness. Just use it all, rub it against the sides, use it all, see, with just a few little drops, now you here you have a little not touched, just spray some water on it, squeeze it all in, and now everything is touched, it's that easy. And when this is dry, you're going to see that you get a nice vintage touch. Of course, you can buy seam binding in any color you like, but I do like that vintage where the, the colors are not that attached. See here, that little white spot? That's why I love it. I love this color. Amazing. I'm going to let this dry. So this one was the pink. The pink one. I'm gonna let this dry for you guys to see how this looks in pink. That was the pink one. All right, what else? Middle brown. This one is black. Brown. I'm gonna save that for the last. This one is yellow. I do not use that much yellow, but I just want to see. Now, if you see this bottle, I forgot to clean it up, but hope it will last. Alright, the yellow one. See already? Oh. <gasps> oh wow! Okay, let's, let's use it all. Now, normally I am not a yellow user. A yellow user. Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word. I don't think so. But I never ever use yellow. But I just wanted to try this out on seam binding. Ta da! Dipping it in. Make it a little wet. Got to do that. It's not important if you forgot to make it wet, you also can dig in just like I just did. All right, clean it up as you will normally do. If you have seen what white spots, then just dipping it all in. It's like cooking. <laughs> Yay! Here we go. Wow, this is. A very bright yellow, but you know, when it's going to be dry, it's going to be lighter. Cool. This is awesome. Now, don't forget to clean up your bottle, your bowl. Go. Next color. What do we have? This is also a brown one. Blue. Okay. This is blue. What color of blue this is? Just a little bit. Close it. Now you see right away it's going to be purple. But when you add more water in here, I'm gonna 
mix it all up, then it's going to be having a nice cobalt blue. Okay, use all that powder. You don't want to miss anything. All right, let's go up another piece. This is so much fun guys, yeah, this is, I know, perhaps you don't like it, but oh my gosh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Can anybody have so much fun with a little ink and a little seam binding? And I know seam binding is for me the best way to color this, love it. So you can use any, any kind of ink you like. I do use my seam binding with distress ink or any kind of paint but this I do love because you can use it for so many times so many times it's so pigmented oh my goodness can you believe you can use this for anything you can paint with it you can I saw this even on that on that uh, channel which I just called told you earlier that you can oh look at this oh my goodness this is bright this is the bright orange so I did saw on that video where somebody explained so much better how you can use these pigments that you can use this with mixed media, you can use it with your gels, you can use it, oh my goodness, in so many ways. Water painting, um, you name it. You name it. And you can do it. Look at this. It absorbs everything. So nice. Okay, it's going to be a lighter one, thank God going to be a lighter one than the first thing that I thought. I thought first it's going to be neon orange, but it isn't. Oh, well, look at this. It's such amazing. And when it's going to be lighter, when it's going to be lighter, then of course it's going to be drier. If it's going to be dry, then you get a lighter color, of course. Of course. Orange, nice. Okay, see how quickly this all goes. All right, what else do we have? A green one. I'm just gonna put some in, and of course, the less you put in. The lighter your piece is going to get. Now, if you like to color other uh, ribbons, I think it's possible. I never tested it out, but I think we just other colors, other seam, other not other seam bindings, other other ribbons. I think it's possible. Of course, why not? You can. Glue, not glue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can paint anything, I think, with this one. But if you see this, that I put some water in, uh, they first, I put some, blah, 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 blah. I put some powder in, pigment powder, powder, and then some water. Can you imagine that, how lovely this is for water painting? Oh. Yes, it is. It's so easy to use. You can put this in your gels for mixed media. You even can make spray bottles to do this with this pigment. It's so easy. Easy. Love this color. Just a nice clean green. Amazing. Alright, what else do we have? 
just a few more. What else? Turquoise. Oh, that's my favorite color. Now, the less you put in, the lighter it's going to get. Cool. Put enough water in. Not too much, not too little, just a little of testing it out. I am going to pick up all the little powder pieces that fall on the sides to mix it all up. I'm going to grab another piece. Here we go. Oh. Always can add some more water. I think it's better to add more water than if you make this right away way too wet. So that you have to make two, like I did with the lilac. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, is this turquoise or what? Oh, yes, love it. Oh my goodness. It, love it, love it, love it. And I bet if you do just a little, can you make it then lighter? So what if I will use this? Because there is still plenty in it. What if I use this little? And then I'm gonna grab a piece of seam binding. See if that's enough to make it even a lighter one. See? Oh. See this nice color. See, it's even with a little piece of drops, you can create a totally different color. See that? Oh. Now, is this amazing or what? This is, see, with two totally different colors you get with one little piece. Now clean this up. Let's go to the next one. We do have a few more to test. What else do we have? We do have another green one. Ooh, curious which green this is then. Another green, wait, just this is turquoise. I don't want to, you want, don't want to put these too close to each other because then, right away, especially when they are wet, then these are going to be mixed up in between. Here we go, mix it all up. Use your finger to pick up all the left. Oh, this is a nice color of green. What do you think? Oh yes. Oh my goodness. This is this is how you call this color. Um, the other green I think is kind of a Christmas green. But this, I think it's between the green and the turquoise. Oh my. Love it. Oh, love this one. Amazing. Oh my goodness. So this is the green and this is the olive green. Ah, okay. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right. What else? Oh, let me first clean it up. Where is my little dirty piece? Clean it up. There we go. What else do we have? The wet one. It's almost like you're cooking. <laughs> Up. 
Yes, here we go. Dipping it in. Oh, wow. As you can see, I did not use that much powder because I want it not to be this dark wet. So if you see, if you just use a bit, gosh, this is almost a salmon wet kind of a color. And this is wet, so it has to be dry. When you can say exactly which color, but <gasps> love it. So this is the wet one. Oh, so we are almost there. I do want to know the brown ones too. Just want to see. All right, this one is the spring green. So I assume that is going to be a very, very light green. Let's check it out. I do love when you spray water. Can you imagine if you do this on paper? And then nothing and just wiggle with your paper. Oh, goodness. All right. Mix it all up. All right. Let's grab another one. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. This is almost a you are green. So this is green. Cool. <laughs> this is green. How it's going to be looking like when it's... Oh, do you see? You don't want to mix these to each other. See that? Then they're totally going in each other. Oh, that was not what I wanted. But just for the test. Okay. This is cool. Alright, so that is the the spring green. I'm gonna try to leave them separately. What happened with these ones? There are some wet dots on it. And with this one too. So I think, and this one too, wow, this is going really fast with that pigment. So I think it's a good experience for me to notice that we do need, if you're ready with one color, that you have to clean it up and put it away. Not what I just do, leave it in one side. I have to clean it up. Be very careful with that. It's such an amazing pigment, guys. Just, but I just want to see which colors we have. Now I only have to test out these four brown ones. Yeah, and the black one, I will leave that. Black is black, I think. So I have three brown ones. Light brown, dark brown, middle brown. I'm going to test these out. I'm going to back, come back to you. All right? Okay, you guys. So this, I think, is almost gray is the dark brown and then this one is a nice beige color that is the middle brown and then this one is the light brown it's a nice yeah what color is it orange brown kind of thing all right so i am gonna dry these and then i'm gonna show you how they are looking like and I was just wondering if you, I don't want to do that in a second. If these are dry and you put these together, perhaps. See how that works out. All right, I'm going to dry these. All right. <laughs> so nice. Okay, guys. So they are almost dry. Quite good. What do you think? What do you think about all these colors? Now, this one is a mix. So I want to look at this. Yes, I used all the colors. Oh, I forgot one to dry right here. Wait. <laughs> okay, so yes, now I colored them, uh, dried them all. So these are the colors. Amazing. So really quick. I hope I can remember these. So this was the spring green. 
that this color hope you can see that with the light that's this green then we had let me check out the orange that was this one of course this color check then we had the light brown the light brown all right wait just a sec let me first check the blue this one was the blue one because there were three different brown ones this is the blue check it's not completely dry yet but almost this was the yellow easy easy color to pick that's the zero one then we have the middle brown can't remember which one this one was okay the olive green was this one the 22 and then, then this is the black we didn't test it out the green that was this cute one the turquoise green And then we have the dark brown, that's this one. I didn't use that much powder on the dark brown, but I believe if I used a bit more powder, then it will be darker, of course. Then the turquoise, yeah, I have two ones. A dark one and a light one. It's totally up to you how much water you use. That's the 18. Yes. And then we have the wet one this one I use also not that much so actually it's a nice pink one pink reddish love it this is 05 love it it's, I will call this not actually pink but if I use more powder then this is going to be more wet of course but I love it so yeah I don't know which one this was this one is the cross I do have these two light brown middle brown <laughs> I don't know but anyway um, I hope you like this video to see all these cute colors I always like to test it and things out there's one on the floor yeah, let's pick it up and um, yeah absolutely stunning the pink one I did I mention that the pink one yes I believe I did but just to be sure, the pink, the 08, oh yeah, and of course, the pink purple, is the 10, and the last one was purple, in my opinion it's blue, but that's perhaps if I use more powder, perhaps it's going to be more dark purple. Anyway love these and they are not completely dry yet I want to do one last test with these because they are so pigmented I want to check it out if let's check it out with let's say a dark a dark color and a light color let's check it out with that one what if I'm gonna make this super 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 dry so it's gonna be dry and I'm going back I'll be back now what if what if we use these in our albums what if we use these and it's going to be a little wet what happens then I have no clue so let's test it out what if I spray this with water does it then being that it does it does going to be right away back in that pigment thing now I know if this is going to be in our albums it's not going to be this wet of course but it will stain a bit it does now what if I'm going to use this one I'm just going to test it out how much this is going to be back in that pigment zone. And it's going to be quite 
good back in that pigment piece. So what if you put these in between? I'm gonna wrap these two in each other. What happened then? Does it come off? It does. It does come off. See? This is another color. Not another color, but it has that blue on it. So that is if you are making it wet. Do we want to make it wet when we are using it in an album? I don't think so. I don't think... I think this color looks amazing. And you're not going to make these wet again, aren't we? No, I don't think so. So I definitely know that we can use this just in an album. Use it with a nice ribbon and use it for your projects. Love it. I love, love, love it. I especially love... And you have to be aware if you are working with these powders, then keep it away if you are finished with one color. These two were white against each other. So there is a little blue on this one. And that's also with this one. But that was when they are wet. So now I can mix these all in one place, in one bag, when they are dry. Then that's perfectly fine. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, check them out on www.crealis.nl And check out these pigment colors. These are amazing. I showed you all the colors that I got. And have fun with them. Check out the video that I will put below this video to check out what else that you can do with these powders. You can do so much with them. I wanted to try them out on my seam binding. So it was a success in my opinion. I'm gonna color mine for my next project. Still not sure which one do like these both. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Till next time, check out the link below.